Hey everybody, so today's video is a change from the normal travel stuff and also a chance to try out this new Osmo Pocket. So it's been a while since you have heard it from me and I have a couple of things I would like to say. Uh, first is it's kind of directed towards the angle I want to take this channel. Um, <laughs> And then uh, the second is just, I guess, a kind of an announcement in a way. I didn't think I was going to be that type of person to make an announcement video because it's not a big deal, but it's just a heads up because a couple of you have subscribed and I'm like, I don't want to switch things up on you. First of all, I want to keep doing these type of travel stuff videos and I'll, I want to continue that because it's pretty fun to make. But I realize I like also talking about stories and writing and, and that type of stuff as well. Um, and I was wondering how I could incorporate that in my videos. I love storytelling. I may not be good at it doesn't mean I am not allowed to love it because I'm not good at it. So what is this about stories that I'm mentioning? Well, um, I love writing and I haven't been able to express that so much on this channel. And this year, that's what I've been doing most of my time. I have actually videos that I've been working on just to process my journey of becoming a writer. Now that journey has changed all throughout. It's not been the same for sure. Since I graduated, actually, I've been working, not even before that, way before that, but I guess I started actually honing that craft since graduation and no since my last exam in april and i at first i was thinking i would try to get into magazine type of writing but there's this one form of writing this really one specific thing that i love doing that i have been putting off on hold now i want to say that not all writing is the same okay just because you love writing doesn't mean you're good at everything i mean you could be I mean, not good at anything. Okay, let's say I like magazine writing. It doesn't mean I would be good at essays and all that. Does this make sense? It does to me. Just, I suck at a lot of things, so um, I'm trying to make sense of why I suck. But there's this one form of writing that I really love, and that is just writing fiction stories, fantasies, novel writing, short story writing. Yeah, short story, yeah. Anything fictional. Nothing real. I realize I don't do so well with facts. I do well with fiction. Let me backtrack because to me it's been a long while, but on this channel it's like in the, you're just zooming by. So since April to, I guess, yeah, January, I have been trying to get into magazine writing. I have been following subscriptions, just my eye out on types of magazines I could contact and potentially pitch to. And I've been doing that for non-stop, non-stop, like trying to pitch and pitching and getting rejected over and over again. And a rejection is very much part of the process. But one thing I learned was that I don't really, I mean, it's beautiful how people can write so well and bring you there. Like you can see the place that you've never been to. Um, I like that part of it, but I realized that maybe it's not for me. And so I put that on hold. I mean. I don't think I'll come back to it, but for now, whenever you feel like you can't give something up, you always put it on hold and then see how you feel about it later. And so that's how I'm, what I'm doing right now. I've also been doing a lot of blog writing and actually my blogs were very consistent since around the end of September up until December. Um, but then it seemed like my work again was going nowhere and it's kind of devastating. I know you should keep doing things even if even if for the sake of it I guess but it's kind of like heartbreaking that I put all this effort into posts I mean they're not the, that great I want to I want to say that right now in case someone like goes back and checks any of them and then it's like sis they weren't, they weren't even that good I know they're not that good but I was really trying okay that's what I'm talking about I've been looking into SEO writing I've been looking into just Pinterest tailwinds I've been going all out on the steps that you're supposed to do um, but I realized that it's kind of, it's not, it's probably also not my thing. As of January, I had actually stopped blogging just to pause it because I am thinking of revamping my website to re really reflect what I like to do. And personally, 
I'm not, I'm not smart. I know that. I mean, I'm not stupid, but I'm not smart. I'm not skilled at any set. I'm, I'm, I, I, <sighs> jack of all trades, master of none. That's my curse. Um, so I can't really be talking about subjects like I know them very well, unfortunately. Um, but I want to make my website to focus more on fiction in my book because I have been uh, writing and that brings me... Did I even announce it? Yeah, I'm writing a book. I don't know if I said that. I suck with this announcement stuff. But I, I am, I'm writing a book. Um, yeah. So why am I writing a book? Is this another dump? from because I am very experimental at all of my life I don't know how you people who are just suddenly interested in something and then you know you work hard and then you everything's smooth sailing it's from my own experience it's always been very difficult I have tried so many things I've done sailing I've done knitting I've done band I've done everything I've got my hands in almost everything and I never excel in anything it's because I I guess um, I never truly listened to my heart or my deepest interest and it's not to say that I wasn't interested in those I was curious but not curious enough that it would be something I would actively pursue the one thing that has been coming back is my desire to write fiction fantasy specifically it's been something I've been doing since I was younger and when I look back at it the signs were right there the signs were right there stories also have a way of capturing my mind because i am a mentally absent person 24 percent of the time no 80 percent of the time or 90 90 95 no 97 percent of the time I don't know if I'm ever pregnant, but anyways, I'm usually thinking up somewhere else. I'm mentally absent. Because I came from a background of not knowing enough words, and also everything I wrote, everything I attempted writing was so garbage. It's so garbage. <laughs> they were bad. Nothing matched what I saw up here. Nothing. And nobody would read what I wrote. I mean, they still don't want to read what I write, but... At least now, I kind of believe in my stories and, and my ability to improve. And I now don't feel like you have to be born with this skill set. I feel like I can train myself as long as I don't give up and I write daily. Why am I writing this book? Well, for the longest, longest, longest while, I've always wanted to be published. I really wanted to be published. And I love fantasy. And I have so many stories in my head. And I'm like, why can't I do it? I want to see my stories out there. There are some stories that I really want to see, but I do not find. So now, especially when I was younger, I've always wanted to see stories with giants. Because I loved it when there was like a huge giant interacting with a teeny, teeny human. And... Um, I wanted to see that so my current novel actually has giant it has giants involved and it has magic because all the good stuff has magic i'm hoping that the book will be published before my birthday because i've had this obsession with publishing as young as possible i mean i really really wanted to be a young author i wanted to be a young everything i wanted to be a young everything like a graduate researcher career person but life has it that i'm actually later than most anyways at least with this book i just want to get it out before september because my birthday is in september and i'm running into a lot of problems writing uh a lot and you know maybe that's another video for another day but for example right now i'm currently stuck on the plot i'm really stuck and i'm frustrated because i was like i really want to do my story justice there's no way i'm going to do what i do in most things in life which is just write something garbagey and then say there i've done it and send it out um i'm not a detail-oriented person so which is why i can I, I never double I don't really double check my essays or if I do it's not with the with that you know keenness like like you know when you're extra when you're paying attention 
pretty much more than normal that you catch every little detail i don't want to catch mistakes when when i wrote my essay i just want to get it out of my way so i would ship that thing off to my professors and everything with this book i'm not doing that because first of all i love it so much second of all there's no this is my first book it's my first 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 book and I really want to do it justice because there's a story that has been in me since I was 14 that has hasn't been told yet and I am I have been developing that story in my mind it, I could never take it out of my head, my head for the longest while and now I I really want to bring that out but I want to this first book is my is a short story gone wrong by gone wrong i just mean that i developed it the world way too much that i couldn't leave it at a short story and now it's going to become my first novel because apparently they say don't publish your first novel um i want to use this as a learning curve because i want to do extra extra justice for my next book um but i don't hate this book i love it so far i love it but i am not doing it justice with the plot line and i'm trying to figure it out why why is the plot so hard people who subscribe for travel stuff i am pretty sorry i understand if you leave because why not this might not do well or anything like that but the pressure is not on me anymore because i'm not in this for money i mean it would be great if i got if i earned from it because i'm not doing successful in finances and i'm not going to be able to work in anything else in my life here because everything that's another story why do i keep doing that okay this is the only writing project that i've gone through without the pressure of it succeeding with people this is just me trying to make it succeed for me because other things is like why didn't I start writing a book the first thing um, when I wanted to become a writer it's because I was thinking I need to do something that can make me financially stable I mean not stable but at least a steady stream of income and I thought that if I got into freelance writing that would help and I was like what if I did freelance editing what if I did um what if I did magazine writing what if I did newspaper writing it's, they're all different they're all different trust me um, at least from don't trust me like I said jack of all trades master of none and I think that this is going to do well because it has no pressure and it's just coming purely from love and the love of storytelling and the love of writing and I'm a little upset at the moment because it's not I'm not doing my story justice and I it went wrong somewhere and I need to play doctor to figure out where it went wrong so if I can't do that again and feel discouraged I'm probably going to do something else I don't know thanks for watching